Doremus was uh, a player who never lost his composure, uh, never let anyone else know what his uh, uh, emotional state was. Uh, he was only focused on winning and what it required and what was required to win. Ray me, huh? What a fine tune he played. 2000. Brilliant game. Gotta watch out for Doremus. He's likely to cream us, and he did. I just think it's a good testament to Doremus. He never lost sight. I mean, sure, there were times when he might have been sidetracked in his playing career and his business career, but it was always there, and that was good. And what I hope is, you know, there's a couple other players out there that have played here four years that haven't graduated, so I hope we can use this model to motivate them to do the same thing. All of the credit for this goes to Doremus. Doremus did all of this work. Doremus took four classes while maintaining his career in Sweden, his family life, assisting with his young son's education. I know that one of the reasons he was so determined to accomplish this was to show his son that he was going to fulfill his college degree. I'm extremely happy for him, for his family, and uh, to be quite honest, uh, guilty of uh, some pride uh, Myself, in knowing that now this I can tell everybody, every guy, every player I've coached that uh, finished his eligibility has graduated. My mom allowed me to leave without finishing to chase my dream, and for that, like it's a sacrifice. She was always on me, but she knew I was chasing my dream, and uh, I chased my dream for almost 30 years, and uh, and now it was it was the right time. It was just like 28 years later. Like I said, I, I don't think I would appreciate it when I'm back then because I was younger and focused on basketball and chasing my dream and now that I, that's over with I got the chance to take it all in and I'm just I'm glad it's done and uh, I can celebrate with a lot of people.